Ugh, YouTube. So, today I have a video for you guys. Just a quick little simple easy style that you can do when you have dirty hair like mine. And it's wash day, but you just don't feel like washing your hair. And you have somewhere to go. So you want to do a quick style just to throw on and get out of the house. This is the video for you, sis. <laughs> So all day I've just been wearing this nasty little bun. So I figured I would actually do something decent with my hair before I walk out this house. So I'm gonna start by taking a spray bottle and this is my infinite spray bottle that I got from Cosmoprof. And I am going to completely saturate, not completely saturate, probably dampen to saturate my hair with water. Um, I'm only doing this so that it's easy for me to detangle and brush through without it being netted. So next, what you're gonna wanna do is take your gel of choice. This is just the only gel that I have laying around right now. I ran out of my Eco Styler. So we're gonna have to use this, cause like I said, we're running out the house really quick. We don't have much time, so. What y'all see me doing here is basically I'm pulling out what my baby hairs um, are gonna be, how my baby hairs are gonna lay. And for me, this is personally completely up to you. You could do your baby hairs first and while you do your ponytail, however you wanna do it. But for me, I like to take my baby hairs, pull them out, get them out of the way, and then brush the rest of my hair um, and, you know, sleek it down with gel. This is just, to me, it makes a better finish than, you know, going back in and doing my baby hairs later on rather than doing them now do the ponytail and then the baby hairs don't stay so it's completely optional completely up to you so overall this style probably takes about five minutes i mean it didn't take me very long um if you have thicker hair than mine it could take you a little bit longer but like i said this is a quick and easy like running out the house style so it, it's not very time consuming taking some gel and applying it to the back of my head and sleeking that down. Now, I did this before applying the extensions or the bundles, whatever you wanna call them. I sleek my hair down, like, just to make sure, you know, completely brush it, make sure there's no kinks, no gnats, nothing like that, um, before I go on ahead and add the hair in. One of my fave curly hair companies is Ali Julia. They have some really good curly hair. And so today I have their Malaysian curly. Um, they did send me three bundles, an 18, a 20, and a 22. So this is their 22 inch. And I personally like their curl pattern because it matches my natural curl pattern. Um, of course it doesn't look it right now because my hair is not completely saturated and not completely wet, but you guys get the gist. So before I create my ponytail, what y'all see me doing here is I basically took that bundle and I put it literally in this middle section of my head. Then I took the rest of my hair to cover the bundle to make it look like a ponytail in itself. Um, I did go back in and you know have to brush just cause I wanted to make sure everything was nice and flat before I created my ponytail. Okay, so a little bit before in this video, I showed you guys what the bundle looked like. So it's wrapped around, um, you know, into like a little beehive kind of thing situation. And then I put a rubber band um, right under where the track, like, you know, the track starts. And then I'm basically, when I'm putting in my ponytail, I'm going to use my hair tie and put the hair tie above where I put that rubber band. Now this makes sure that my hair and the bundle are not going anywhere, sis. All right, so here's the tricky part, actually making the bun. It seems so easy, but my hair is way shorter than our bundle. So what I have to do is I'm gonna take a rubber band. I pushed my ponytail all the way to the front. 
like just to mimic the shape of a bun and I'm going to apply a rubber band right where my hair ends and the bun will meet. So once I got my rubber band in place, I'm gonna take that and flip the bun backwards. So now it looks a little bit, it's all an illusion, I promise you, it's all an illusion, but um, I'm gonna flip it back and create an even higher bun. I like big buns, I like high buns, it's completely up to you. If you like wider buns, whatever, top knot buns, it's completely up to you. But once I flip it back over, I'm gonna take a rubber band and put that rubber band all the way at the base. So now with the remainder of the hair, I just literally flipped it around towards my forehead. And I'm taking the sides just to create um, the rest of our bun. And the sides were a little bit longer, so that's not how long I want the bangs to be. So I kind of just, uh, you know, flip them around and wrap them around the bun just so we don't have to deal with those longer pieces. So, and I also went on ahead and took some hairpins to make the bun the exact shape that I wanted. remember this is completely up to you you can make your bun as big as you want you can make your bangs as long as you want it all depends it's completely up to you but once I get my bangs basically you know where I want them to lay I'm gonna take um, an edge tamer brush and I'm just gonna fleek my edges this is why I do my edges last because for me it completes the look rather than me doing my edges and then doing the look and then my edges are fucked up from me doing the look if that makes sense so I just like to do my edges last and you know, I give it that little touch and yeah. So yeah, you guys, this is the finished look. Give this video a thumbs up for quick little, you know, short, easy styles. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Love you.